the sun in Bergen. Well, I have to record this because it doesn't happen so often. But for me, it arrives to say hi. What a beautiful day today. statue of Ludwig Holberg, Baron of Holberg, who was born in Bergen uh, on the 3rd of December uh, 1684. And um, he was a great writer, essayist, philosopher, historian and playwright um, during the time of the Deno-Norwegian dual monarchy. He is also connected with Edvard Grieg, who composed his famous suite from the Holberg's times. Today I also visited a famous fish market in Bergen, famous for all over the world. And indeed, what we can see here, the quantity and quality of uh, products uh, all kind of seafood and fish that I have never seen in my life, actually. It's just unbelievable. Let's have a look. And this is famous Bergen pavement, destroyer of suitcases, wheels. I lost at least two suitcases while walking all the time on this uh, terrible pavement of Bergen. Here I am, I arrived to Us and I'm standing now in front of uh, one of my favorite cultural houses in Norway uh, when it comes to the way it's situated, just in front of the ocean and the name is Oceana, which is actually a quite a, an artistic name because you can, you can think about Us like the name of the town and uh, ocean as Oceana, so a very very beautiful place and tonight I'm going to perform here Beethoven and Mozart. That will be a wonderful evening. So I went for a walk and I uh, tried to discover new paths uh, places with it that I have never been, just you know, went for a walk and get lost. I love to do this. And look what I found, and look where I am now. And listen to the sound of birds and the sound of water. And peace. 
piece and this I call inspiration for music. And in this building, I'm going to play a concert tonight. And that's how it looks from the inside. Today we have a Yamaha piano. So the new brand piano, and but very good model, and this is the whole. It's it's really uh, one of my favorite places here. When it comes to the the memories that I have from this place, and I love the ocean, which is just behind, and the audience. So I'm looking forward to tonight's concert. Hello. Here. So now I'm in my. Next uh, concert place, Oceana in Us, and I'm having a rehearsal on the piano. The piano is a Yamaha, so it's the, I think the fourth brand of piano which I experienced in the, on this tour. I played on Pazzioli, I played on Steinways, and I played on of the fifth, I think. I played on, on Petrov, and also I played on. Uh, this Steinbeck, I think, piano. But anyway, the piano is fantastic. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the so called Moonlight Sonata of Ludwig van Beethoven, which I'm going to play tonight. I just uh, have a rehearsal, and uh, of course, I'm going to play through all the pieces. But uh, Moonlight, the first movement, uh, there is a lot of interesting things in this first movement um, when it comes to especially the tempo. Very often we hear pianists playing the beginning very slow very slow and of course for the first minute this music is fantastic beautiful magic wonderful the problem is that when you play this first movement in such a tempo it lasts like six or seven minutes and after first minutes you have absolutely enough I think this is my opinion uh, but it's not only my opinion I think I think and I'm sure when it comes to the score that Beethoven wanted actually this twice as fast or even more because in the score we have written alla breve which means that we should count on two so if you know my recordings, I think there is some recording on YouTube already uh, of me playing this. Uh, on, maybe if you are used to this tempo, maybe you were a little shocked uh, why it is so fast. That, so that if we count on two, like Beethoven wanted, then we need to have at least one, two, one, two. Another thing is that Beethoven wrote so that the whole piece, the first movement, should be played without dampers and as soft as possible. Well, without the dampers, we can't really make it because uh, our modern piano mixes the sound too much. But if we play in such a fast tempo, we can actually change the pedal much, um, much less than when we play in slow tempo. And I think that's what Beethoven really wanted to achieve. Uh, because you know, it's not really about any lake and the moon, moon and the romantic. Beethoven was suffering very much when he was composing this piece. He was hopelessly in love, he lost his hearing, he was losing his hearing, he had a breakdown, mental breakdown. And when I played, I had, I had a chance to play this on his pianos. I mean, the, the, the copies of his pianos. And when I played it with one pedal, all the piece. Then it was so touching that it almost broke my heart. Listen. This music is written by 
is deeply suffering man, young man. this left hand it's like funeral when we play this in this tempo that Beethoven wanted Alla Breve we can make much more of the sound and with the pedal and also it is connected with the last movement because it comes from the same motif. So anyway, I'm going to uh, work on the Beethoven and Mozart program and I just wanted to share this a little bit thought with you about this um, first movement of the piano sonata because many times I got questions about this. So that's my garderobe here and I've just practiced like three hours I played through very slowly the program and on this sofa now I'm going to lay down and have a nap before tonight's concert I had to practice quite a long time because this program is a different one from which I, pl I played in the last uh, three or four concerts I think th the last time I played it was more than one week ago so that's why it's better to play it through to be sure now I'm uh, getting ready for tonight's concert so I've just finished the first part 
And what am I doing during the break? Well, recording videos. <laughs> no, just joking. Uh, of course, short video and then I turn off my phone. Um, probably I will lay down on this fantastic sofa here and just breathe. Because I must tell you that the Beethoven tonight was very emotional, very full of passion and uh, I can feel it still. So I have to recover, breathe, drink something, maybe a little coffee and definitely water and then I'm ready for the second part. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fantastic. Thanks. It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. You have been in Holmestown? Where? In Holmestown, in Nova. I finished the next concert in Ustama, and uh, probably it was my best concert on this tour, I think. Um, I was quite satisfied with every single piece. And I'm thinking now of publishing the recording of this concert in full on YouTube. So we will see. I have to listen to this. But that was really great. And the audience was fantastic. So I feel so happy, hungry. And I'm just going to eat and sleep. Because tomorrow I have another concert. The last concert on this tour in Sunness. And we have a lot of tickets sold. I think it will be almost 200 people. So that will be 